Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. Um, I made the cover and the signature. Um, I gathered some papers for the signature of my Easter journal. So here it is, It's let me just pull this out. It is soft cover. Um, there's only one ply of batting and then I put some material on the inside. I sewed around the edge. I meant to put in um, pockets here, but I maybe I'll do them over here um, since I put the corner pieces on. Um, I layered up some green card stock, some craft paper, and uh, digital. I took a flower, I'll show you, from, um, I think it's Joanne's. I took out the piston and stuck a button in there and I sewed. So that it looked like so it had some of the sewing and then I just glued that on with fabric tack all right so that's the cover and then um, I pulled papers for my signature and I just put some elastic around them so I can pull them out and I can add more or do whatever I want before I sew them in um, so I kind of like doing this because then I can work on pages and you know, pull them out. So anyhow, I did use the um, photo play. What is it? Bunnies and uh, da -da. let me remember what this is called. Bunnies and blooms. Um, paper in the, for a lot of this, and so this is a page from that. A page of coffee dyed paper, music paper, coffee dyed paper that I made some more from the collection some avocado dyed paper music this other paper this nice um i don't even know what to call it some more dyed paper this is from the um i probably switched this around i didn't mean for that to be back to back uh, maybe that'll be the middle so i like it like this because i can play around with that um, this is from the paper collection, avocado paper, um, this is from the collection, we're in the middle of the signature, and we're just going to go backwards, so it's the same thing on the other half, so that's that. Um, I did fold this in the back. I thought that would look kind of cool. So I probably will change the order in here um, because I don't like these two together. I like that against that, but I don't know how this ended up here. So I'll have to fold around with that. But anyhow, I wanted to show you um, these napkins that are Peter Rabbit. Uh, I think it's just on one. Yeah. It just has, no, it has the design on two, and this cool stripe, so it says hop like rabbit, bop, hop, 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 hop. Woo. This is not a Peter Rabbit napkin, but I thought it was super cute. Um, now run along and don't get into mischief. Really cute. And then on the other side, hop little rabbit, hop, 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 with the green. And Peter Rabbit, Happy Easter, and the goose, and then another Peter Rabbit, and look, it's just all four of them, so cute. So I want to use some of these, and I kind of want to decoupage, so let me just take a quick look through, pick out some pages that I want to put these on, and then I'm going to show you how I plan to do that. So I decided I wanted this right in the front of the book. That's the other side. I thought it would look good here. So I'm going to pull this page out. And I wanted to um, keep the scalp edge here. And I wanted some of the top of the napkin. They were three ply and I separated them. Um, if you get stuck, just get something sticky like tape and put it on the back. I'll do the next one on camera so you can see it. Sorry, I just got up. Um, so, this is how this is going to go. I think I'm going to fold it back so that I can tell where the edge is. 
I'm going to use matte medium. Um, you can water down white glue. You can use Mod Podge. I like matte medium. I find that it's not very sticky. I mean, it's not sticky on the top where it shouldn't be sticky. Let me grab a piece of scrap paper. All right. Just some scrap paper. I'm going to have to go into school in our copy room. There's lots of paper laying there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the matte medium down on here. Um, I should probably measure a little bit how far it's going to be from the top and from the bottom so that I can tell. Where's my pencil? I think this one works. So I think it's going to be right about in here and right about in here. All right, and then I know just to put the glue all through there, I'm going to use a white um, a paintbrush. It's white. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to stick the matte medium down. I don't know if I mentioned, but I think I'm going to break up these packs of um, napkins and I'm going to put them in my Etsy shop. So um, not tomorrow, but I think by the time the video goes up, I'll have the this figured out. How much a pack would be, how many you get in each pack, um, etc. So if you're interested in these napkins, I'll make them available because they're really cool and I don't need, um, you know, 30 to 50 of each. At least I don't think I do. <laughs> I know we like to hoard, right? All right, so I'm going to turn this around so I can get it on kind of straight here or attempt to anyway. Really only have one shot at this, Oop. and I didn't get it quite on the scalp to where I wanted it all the way, but that's okay. It's going to be a little wrinkly, and um, that's okay. Now here's where you have to kind of be careful and start from the middle and go out. I need some more matte medium. And try to work some of the um, wrinkles out. I don't mind the wrinkling. To me, it just makes it look a little more vintage, I guess. I'm not even going to attempt to fix that one. And I like to work from the middle to the outside. His little wing's going to end up getting cut off. A little goose wing, I should say she. It's obviously a female. I am going to see the um, background of this paper, which I like. That whole, that whole thing. I'm going to bring it up through here. Make sure it's down everywhere. Once it dries, it's not going to matter that it's on... Um, this I can tell I don't have glue under there. So I'm just gonna very gently go back. Oopsie. I pulled it off right there. Can I get it back on? I think I can. I think I can and I think I did. Good enough anyway. We're gonna leave it alone. Leave it like this. Make sure those bubbles are out. And then this has to be completely dry before I um, try to get 
try to cut the edges. I think I just said that. So I'm going to let that sit for now. And uh, I'll come back and show you the end. And by then I'll probably have a couple more of these done. And I'll show you the results. So that should look really, really nice on that page. I just want to make sure it's down where it needs to be down. I could have been a little more generous, probably underneath with the glue. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it dried and I think I put them back where they belong, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so here is the first napkin. I think that turned out so cool. Love it against the yellow. Um, let's keep going. Here's the second one on the music paper. And I can, um, you know, distress around this. I could actually put something else up there. And then here's the third one. I feel like most of them are in the front of the signature, so I'm definitely gonna have a play with them back in here and add the ones I didn't use, but I wanted to show you how they turned out and I just loved them. And to remind you that um, I'm gonna be posting napkin packs in my Etsy shop. So that should be up when this video goes and it's gonna be linked in the description. If not, it'll be like a day later or something. I have to go to the post office and figure out postage. Other than that, have a great day. Give the video a thumbs up questions and comments below. Hit that um, subscribe button if you feel so inclined and notifications. I appreciate each and every one of you and have a great day.